and Vakfe Jadid are to be found here, as well as the offices of the Auxiliary Organization of Pakistan, such as the offices of Majlis Ansarullah Pakistan. Lajna Imayla, Pakistan and Majlis Khudamul Ahmadiyya, Pakistan. Amazingly, despite the hundreds of thousands of visitors to the city each year, there is not a single hotel for their accommodation. All visitors are considered as the guests of the promised Messiah, peace be upon him. And are provided the best accommodation in the guest house founded by the promised Messiah. Boston, Darul Ziyafat accommodates nearly 250 guests daily. But as far as the dining facilities are concerned, more than 3,000 guests use them daily. Daru Ziyafat is open for the guests round the clock throughout the year. In addition to the guest house, all central and auxiliary organizations have their own guest houses. Outfitted with all the modern conveniences, they are kept ready at all times to host any guest who may arrive free of cost. Sarai Mohabbat Sarai Fazle Umar Guest House Ansarullah Guest House Lajna Imaila Guest House Vakfi Jadid And the many guest houses of Majlis Khudamul Ahmadiyya are providing exceptional services to guests that may arrive. In addition to the various smaller private libraries, Rabwa also has a central library known as Khilafat Library, which was established in 1952. It has more than 150,000 books, pictures and theses. 
the people of Rabwa, irrespective of age or gender, all make great use of the library. The educational needs of the people are met by various public, private, as well as institutions operated by the Ahmadiyya community. Among these are Talimul Islam High School and Talimul Islam College, which were founded by the Jamaat but were nationalized in 1970s and since then have been controlled by the government. Both these institutions have the unique distinction of being the places where our beloved Imam Hazrat Khalifatul Masih V was educated. Another institute of great repute is Nusrat Jahan Academy, which is well known not only in Rabwa but throughout Pakistan for the high standards of education. Along with secular education, another Jamaat Institute is fulfilling the religious educational requirements for the community. This is Jamia Ahmadiyya, which is responsible for the training of missionaries. There are students here from all over Pakistan who have devoted their lives for the propagation of Islam around the world. In addition to general Islamic courses, they are educated in science, history and many foreign languages so that they may convey the message of Islam to all nations. The Ahmadiyya community also has an institution for younger members wishing to memorize the Holy Quran. This institution is known as Madrasatul Hibs and is administrated by nazarat e -Taleem. Experts once said that Rabba could not sustain any vegetation, that plant life and trees would never be seen here. Now, the work of those at the gulshan e Ahmed nursery has confounded that cynicism. The nursery is now home to trees and plants from around the world. It is administered by the Rabba Tazin Committee, which is continuously endeavoring to keep the neighborhoods of Rabba green. This important Jamaat organization is proof that vibrant nations can turn deserts into gardens through hard work and the blessings of Allah. Utilizing modern methodology and technology to serve humanity, Majlis Khudamul Ahmadiyya Pakistan has undertaken many new schemes. One such scheme is the Neural Ann Project, which provides free cornea transplants to patients suffering from corneal diseases. 